being felt in Columbia County is contrasted by despair in neighboring Luzerne County. Losing a job is always tough, but it especially hurts when it happens around the holidays. Now, less than three weeks before Christmas, nearly 200 workers are wondering what to do next. Eyewitness News lead ITM reporter Andy Mahalshik is live in our control center. Andy, how did employees find out they were going out of or losing a job? Well, Mark, officials of the Valmont Newmark plant in Hastings delivered the news to its employees yesterday morning. Some of those employees tell me they never saw it coming. Depressing. Another plant leaving. Hopefully something else will come in to replace it, I hope. That place is the Valmont Newmark plant in the Heights section of Hazleton. The business has been here since the early 1960s, and although it has changed ownership several times, it was known as one of the most stable places to work in the mountain city. It manufactures large steel poles for the utility industry. But Thursday morning, company officials notified the 180 people who make a living here that its doors would close in February. A corporate spokesperson issued a statement to Eyewitness News. It reads in part, we determined that we can best serve our customers in the Northeast U.S. market through supply from our other U.S. manufacturing facilities. The company has a dozen plants in the U.S. and Mexico. Word of the shutdown stunned many in the city. In fact, many other workers come to the Heights Easy Mart every day. It's located about four blocks away from the factory. They come in in the morning, they get their coffee, cigarettes, uh, hoagies, whatever they want. Then they come up for lunchtime at times to get food. That or they'll call it in and they come up and pick it up. And when they came in yesterday morning, that's how we found out. Brian Pliska manages the Easy Mart. He and many others in the city thought the company was actually expanding. We were pretty shocked uh, for all the equipment that we've been seeing going down the street and uh, the stuff that they've been installing, the cranes and so on and so forth in the back there, because I only live uh, two blocks away from them. And uh, it's pretty surprising and shocking. And several employees reached out to this reporter about the situation. They did not want to be identified, but they told me they too thought the company in Hastings was indeed expanding. They never saw it coming. Reporting in the Control Center, Andy Mahalshik, Eyewitness News. Mark? Such a terrible jolt. Thanks, Andy. The company says it will offer jobs to these employees at its other facilities, but that would require those employees to move out of the area.